All right, so we got some pretty good cards here. I don't have to headline Nasser, which is nice. I think Arab Israeli is our best headline. Should try and put uh, Israel into our favor. I can only open standard in in uh, Europe, I believe. I don't think I have anything tricky I can do. So let's just do that. This hand does kind of have a hard time against Red Scare, but at the same time I still have a lot of one ops cards so it doesn't do too much. But it affects my coup at the very beginning which is pretty massive. Oh gosh, this is starting off kind of weird. I think I have to coup Iran. Oh no. I think this is how my last tournament game started. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> okay, that's good. I hate playing the China card, but I really feel like I need to. I can't just lose Asia that easily, I don't think. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. This is not how it's supposed to work. Maybe they kill it, but I think I have to try to get presents in Libya. I think I have to try, I don't know. Wait, no, that's not even gonna work. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I should just put it in Syria. <sighs> Man. I'm losing this, I feel. I don't play for like three weeks because of this tournament. Because I kept trying to organize games and then like 
I just got really bad. There you go, buddy. That sucks, but... I don't know what I could have done. Maybe they don't coup here. Which seems highly unlikely. They didn't remove me, so that's good. The seeds of totalitarian regime. But unfortunately, I don't have an easy time in getting into Asia. In the evil soil These are some good cards, though. Strife. They reach their full growth when the hope of a people for a better life has died. They could coup me in Egypt, but taking France is kind of a way to get back into this, I think. I'm able to get Middle East just the right of the ability of being able to coup constantly. I might not need to play, or I might not want to play Fidel because of CIA is a huge risk for me now. Which also means I don't want to coup Panama if I somehow got a coup, which I won't. Okay. So a play I was kind of wanting is to desol out of Egypt, but I think by doing that I can't really put my influence anywhere in the back, like in the midwar, and I don't think that's worth it. Like I was considering like putting it into France and then in Asia, but that just seems so bad long term. Could destall now to 
remove influence out of Assyria, Austria, Poland. Yeah, I think this is right. CIA kill me though. This is a this is not the game I expected to be playing right now. This is so strange. Like I don't even have presence in the Middle East. That Iraq play, role is pretty massive. That's slowing me down. Normally I don't go for the Met C, but I think it's pretty important to do that this round. This if they use four ops to take Greece and Canada, I could put one in Turkey. And then... Oh, they only have one influence here. Oh, sweet. So I get to score Europe. So maybe this is my best chance to take Egypt. Feels like the right thing to do. Don't risk it. Maybe I can draw D stall. That could change things pretty significantly in Asia. I'll take Europe and Asia and trade for Middle East. That's really good for me. Okay, so there's CIA. That's good. I kind of wish he had it on turn three, but you know. those points now while I can. It's not too uncommon for our opponent to space. Especially because of an uh, Arab Israeli and um, Zeus Crisis. It's pretty important, I think. Opponent left, and I didn't want to wait 35 minutes to play my tournament game. Alright, so one. Where did they put it? Burma and. Where else? Oh, Panama.
That might be a weak play. Maybe I should just put it in Venezuela. I need to have five influence in South America, or at least three and one. Four turn four happens. I mean, there's a lot for me to worry about, though, so maybe I can't get it to work. I know that spacing is important, but I think getting rid of containment is, is more important than spacing once. You never know, you might be able to get a realignment roll. This makes the work hard better for me, which is my logic here in taking Afghanistan. Like if I coup Iran successfully, I could do that. I don't think I'm going to go for Iran. I think Panama is a better target at this point. Having access to the mid war is probably more important than the Middle East, because, uh, just because of how many cards I have that affect the Middle East. He's a China card. I, I'm okay with that trade, I think. I'm not sure. Am I? So I see to draw a decal here. Everything is fine. Of the dark chamber of right, I didn't. Into the light. To find a way by which the minds of men, the hopes of men, the souls of men everywhere can move forward toward peace and happiness. Well, I'll check that in this hand. So I could play duck and cover, just give some points. That lets me repair North Korea, but I'll still get my military ops with Indo-Pakistani. I think that's better than risking losing control in Asia. I think that's going to be my play. I hate doing that, but I think it's right, uh, sadly enough. Great. That's really freaking bad for us. Oh my god. That is extremely bad. Just go up to six here. Or do I just play the China card, which is really bad for me to do? I don't I can't get into ops battle, I don't think. God, that, that feels so bad to do. It really does.
they're spacing now. Interesting. Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, I actually got it! I actually got it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, things are changing. This is... There's a, it feels like there's a chance now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I basically just red scared our opponent there. So that's nice. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh man. Still don't think I can stop. Oh, I could put influence in Diran. Maybe I should do that. This might bait them, or this might make them uh, just put influence in Iraq, which I don't really want them to do. But I think it's worth the, the gamble here. They might even just put one in there, which is probably the best way they could do. Yeah, they should put one in Dirac and then take Zaire, probably, but, I don't know. They didn't do it, yes. Wait, oh my god, I don't know why I thought it was seven action realms. <laughs> I am, I am so dumb. Still not here. All right, well, we got some problems, but it's not. I shouldn't worry about the Middle East. That was bad. Right, we drew voice, so that's good. Oh, we drew Junta. That is extremely good. I have to headline that. There's no other choice, I don't think. Okay. Uh, that event's pretty bad for me. They should consider playing that. I said they should have, but just, just you know, consider. Uh, we should realign Panama, I think. No, no, we should realign Venezuela, because I can at least walk in there if I'm successful. I'll have to realign one more time. So our opponent, if they have Africa scoring, that's good for them. Mm. I don't 
know where I could pressure them though. Like I could coup Sahara states and then try to realign Algeria. I kind of like that play. So I need the military ops and this I could walk into Nigeria potentially. Hey Edge, what's up? I'm in a tournament game and it's it's not going horribly, but it, I don't know. I don't feel good either about this situation. I expect them to coup Saharan states back. Oh yes, they drew CIA. So that's a positive. Okay, so I'm gonna realign Algeria. I think that's our best best chance here. I think realigning it with I think it's so important that I should realign it with the four ops guard. But I'm not going to. Damn it. That didn't quite work out. But they have to choose to coup or to place influence, so. It's not the worst. They probably put two in to here and one into Algeria. Or they'll play it for the event in Brazil. Oh my gosh. Well, at least I broke that. Um, but I'm still playing from behind, like everywhere. Put one into Iraq, I suppose. So I need to space this card. Then, if I can, space defectors. Try to get points that way. I'm gonna have a hard time getting South America now. This kinda sucks. Please fail. Damn it. Alright, at least I got that. So they can't space two cards. I'm not playing Slink because I didn't have presence in the Middle East for a long time. It, it, was, it was a weird start. Like, they cooed Iraq and got rid of all my influence. And I've been red scared twice in three turns. It's been a weird start. Yeah. I got rid of Independent Red, so we're safe there. Um. Maybe I just get rid of this now. I think I have to play that card. I could like I think I won't hold on to US Japan back. I really don't want to hold on to another one-up card going to the next round. So I think this is the right play. We already scored Middle East. One downside is OPEC is now a free card for our opponent. Doesn't give me a point. But I think they would have played it anyways, so... I don't know. Alright, them putting it there is fine. That doesn't do too much, I don't think. Hey Darth Whoopi. So one, two, three, four, five. I can't really threaten the Asia domination, so I'm not gonna risk it.
I could put influence into Austria and Greece and then try to get realignment rolls. If, if I do that, like I could do, um, <laughs> board games are for nerds. Is this a what for Jesus raid? <laughs> Hello guys, how's it going? I'm in like a really tough situation. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of this. This is a tournament game and if I lose one more, then I'm out of the tournament. So I'm like trying to be very careful here. Um, so if I get salt negotiations, I could improve that kind of five and then realign out of Italy and West Germany. The one issue is they have France or they have access to get into West Germany or Italy. But I think it's I think it's fine to go for this play. So I'm gonna just lead off with defectors by taking Greece. This might be a game where I need to go for uh, Europe control here. Let's see what happened in this game. Nice, I won. Our opponent timed out, I think. Alright, so let's go back to the tournament game. Have you gotten a chance to learn this game, Boy for Jesus? Alright, so what do they do? They put one into Malaysia. That's not too impactful. It's basically a point for them. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to US Japan Pact and place two influence into Australia. Or Austria. If I can draw assault negotiations, this could turn into a very interesting game very fast. Although I guess NATO's in effect, so I can't even do that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But I can I can still realign West Germany uh, eventually. If I get the Collector's Edition, I can sell you my Deluxe Edition. If, that's if you can't find a copy. I think they're reprinting it pretty soon, though, so maybe there'll be a lot more out there. <laughs> yeah, Australia is practically ignored. You can't ever take it, so it's not worth trying. So I never go for Australia. Batch is released. If you can still get a copy, you should definitely do that. This game is probably my favorite game now. I think I snapped up. one card I could have used to realign. I can only really realign West Germany, but I think it's worth a try. Are sufficient beyond doubt. Can we be certain beyond doubt that they will never be employed? This is a very strong hand for us. Um, I think it's best to not degrade DEFCON during the headline, so I think this is not our best play, because I need to coup somewhere in Africa, uh, preferably Zaire. Uh, cooing Bra Brazil is also good, but I'm likely to get realigned out, so I don't think that's our best play. I could play Missile Envy here. It's 100% safe, I can't set off nuclear war. Um, another play is to just play Brezhnev for a lot of ops, which is not a bad idea, I think. Although they could have ABM off Missile Envy. Maybe that alone is worth trying to get. Um, 
Yeah, they could have ABM. My hand's pretty strong. So I don't think I need to play Brezhnev. Maybe I could hold this till next round. So I kind of like headlining Missile Envy here, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm going to headline. John Paul, interesting. Hopefully they have ABM. That could be really good for us. I could have two coups in South America and switch it into my favor. Ooh, Flower Power. That's not great for us, but it's okay. Madagascar is key. I can't go there. I would if I could, though. Alright, so I think the safest play is to coup Africa, which will give me domination temporarily. Or no, that would not give me domination, but it would prevent them from getting it. Um, the risky play is to coup in Venezuela. I think, I think that actually might be worth it. Yeah, I think I need to coup Venezuela. So I have... But it's so risky at the same time. If they didn't take Uruguay, I would coup Brazil. For sure. If I coup... Zaire, then I could walk into Angola, potentially. Or even set up real line Nigeria. So I think I coup Zaire with a... Two ops card. That's a little risky. If I roll a 1, then a 1 or a 2 is kind of bad. But I think that's my most efficient play, and that's what I'm going to go for. We rolled a 2. That's kind of bad. Because they could switch this back into their favor. But I could switch and goal into my favor, so it's not awful. At least I got a 2. A 1 would have been devastating. Actually, I played Missile Envy since I can't even do that. That's good for us. Okay. So, now I need to put one more influence in Zaire so they can't switch into their favor. Or I could coup Uruguay. I kind of like cooing Uruguay here, actually, to give me presence at the very least. I could also play Shea to make it lower. A little bit more risk free, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that play. That was really bad. Oh my gosh. If they get Central America control, that's almost game ending. So that's 10 points for them. That was my only chance to go in there, though, so I just tried to take it. Alright, I'm going to Q Uruguay again. Nice. Okay, this gives me options here if they fail their Quagmire roll, because then they'll lose a turn. Then I could try to realign Argentina. I can still put influence into Paraguay. That way I'm protected from a realignment roll. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country The other option I have is to just force influence into Argentina. Country. The problem is they have the China card, so I can't win that. can't win that long term. I could just try realigning Argentina. Actually, I like that play. It's super risky though, but I think it's good.
Yes, we got it. That's the result I needed. And now I can just coup Nigeria. Or not coup, uh, realign it. Okay. That was super expensive. That was super expensive, but I think it's worth it. Oh my god, they had OAS. That was rather fortunate for them. I'm still going to do the same play, though. Yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is super inefficient, but it had to be done. I lost, what, seven ops out of that? They only lost, like, three. Kind of sucks. I never got to protect Zaire, but at least I can coup Nigeria. I think's my best one still. Yeah, they're gonna flip Zaire in their favor. I think. Oh, they didn't do that. They're going for France. Interesting. So I could play Cuban Missile Crisis as my headline. And then put one, two into France, and then three, in, or my third influence into Zaire. I think that's our safest play. And on the off chance they headline Lund Gumman, they would lose. But I doubt they would. This also protects the Harden States, which is nice for us. Alright, good. I, I'm really glad I headlined that because this lets me protect Zaire. And, uh, and France. I need to get Liberation play, that's a priority. But I also need to protect France and Zaire here first. In Algeria. There's a lot of things I need to fix. But I don't have a 4-ops card to do that. If I put this up to 7. That means they'd have to get 10 influence in here. So I don't need to put more than one into here right now. Plus we already scored, oh we haven't scored Europe. Um, I can still realign them out of Algeria if they don't put any influence into uh, to this country here. Yeah, so I think I repair France and Zaire. Maybe try to get a realign on Algeria if I can. I'm going to play Bear Trap for the event, that way I can get rid of River Skirmish, and then Nuclear Subs if I have to. Although, Shuttle Diplomacy is bad for us, maybe I should get rid of that and hold on to Nuclear Subs, I guess. Point. 
influence. Getting influence into Mexico is important. I need to get something going for me points wise because our opponent's pretty far ahead. They still could have one gunman, but I don't have the China card. I think this does this give me military ops? This does not. So I I need to coup a non battleground to potentially get five points back because of military ops and then Oh wait, they can't nuclear subs they can't actually coup because of nuclear subs. Or because of a uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah, it does not affect Cuban Missile Crisis. So I, I can actually play that card safely. Which means I could space... River Skirmish, potentially. I'm gonna hopefully not fail the first spare trap roll and discard river skirmish. I keep trying to like claw my way back, but I just barely can't do it. And I'm always one play behind to the scoring cards. I had a pretty huge op disadvantage early on, I think, because I got red scared twice in three turns. Uh, that's pretty strong. South America control, which if they have that, then I lose. Pretty sure. Yeah, they have it. Because they would have played that for points, I think. Uh, no, I think playing this for, for just one up is fine. If they have a South America scoring card and they have control, then they will win the game. Wait, where do they have to remove influence from? Is it West Germany? So then I can't do that. Can't do that. So we'll place. I don't want to lose like this, but I think I'm I'm going to because if I lose this game, I'm out of the tournament. I'm pretty sure, unless something crazy happens. This gives them four point six points. So. 
Yeah, if they have the scoring card, they win no matter what. Because I don't have military ops. So they would get eight points from from having six here and then two points for military ops. But I guess they don't either. So maybe not. Maybe not. Making me nervous. I hate when they take a while when I'm about to lose. I think playing shell diplomacy is just another way to lose, so I'm not gonna do that. Like they, I guess they could coup Argentina now, but I think shell diplomacy loses me the game as well. I can't let them have Asia domination. They at least have to consider if they want to remove influence out of uh, West Germany. Oh, nice. That worked out well for us then. Maybe I can go for West Germany. For the first time, because the people of the world want peace, and oh. the leaders of the world are afraid of okay. war. So this is interesting. Time are on the side of peace. This is interesting because I have salt negotiations. Oh, we just to reshuffle this turn seven. So there's nothing I can do with salt. But I could. NATO prevents realignment everywhere in Europe. And any US controlled countries in Europe. But I could realign West Germany. But I think I need to. They have Central America scoring. Which means I could go for Central America control. Like, that's a play I could try to go for. Um, another option I have is playing slot negotiations and doing realignments in West Germany. The problem with that play is I need Italy. I don't have the ops to fight for Italy, I don't think. I almost certainly don't. Man, this hand could so win if, if NATO wasn't in effect. So I think I need to do... I think I need to play Fidel and do a coup in Brazil. And try to break their domination there. I think that's my best play. 
I don't think slot negotiations is going to work out for me. So I'm going to play Fidel. ABM is pretty bad for me. <laughs> That's pretty bad, because they can queue Argentina now, and they're guaranteed to remove influence. However, I could sought for ABM, or for ABM. That's kind of slow though, so I don't know if that would work for me. Pretty sure they're going to coup Argentina. I think they, I think they'd be crazy not to. Unless there's something I'm missing. Like maybe they could Mexico. Placing influence. Interesting. They want the last coup. One thing I could do here is coup a non-battleground. Like I could coup Peru. And if I'm successful with my coup Peru, and they don't coup Argentina, then I could realign out of Chile. Another play. I think the I think going for Central America is weak. Because they can realign me out of Cuba. So one play I could do is just go ahead and play Europe scoring. And see if they take the first coup. Which I think I like that play best. I don't think realigning them anywhere helps. Also get a bonus point because they're not in West Germany. I have to play Europe scoring at some point. I think that might have been the best time to do it. Alright, so if I do a coup here, like into Zaire, then their chances of cooing Argentina successfully are pretty slim. So I like cooing Zaire here to give me a military op. Or actually, hold on. Let me think about this again. The Nixon Cultural Five Year Plan, South African, U2, Central Muslim Revolution. So, one thing I could do is not coup here. And then that might force them to play one of my events that they don't want to play. Like, I could get. I'll get U2 Incident. They might have to play. South Africa. They might play cultural or South African unrest, unless they play China card. So they'll play China card, and then they will play Nixon to get it back. So that means they don't have to play my cards. But it would give me the China card. But I think I don't need to play for the China card. So I could. No 
I'm kind of like just putting an influence into Algeria. But if I queue here, they kind of have to queue Argentina if they want to try to keep domination. But if I roll, if I queue Brazil, I have to roll a 4 or higher to have success. That's a 50 50. I think taking Niger queuing Nigeria is the best play. That sucks. So they pretty much have to queue Argentina here, I believe. This, this way they degrade DEFCON. I guess technically it didn't matter where I could. Because I rolled a 1, so it didn't actually matter. Coup there. I'm surprised they didn't just coup Argentina. I guess they were trying to make sure they got something out of it. Which I guess I can get that. One play I could do is. Go for ABM, but saw it. That would give them a coup, and then me a coup, then me another coup. And then I could hold on to shuttle diplomacy and army and Tehran that way. There's also two points on the track that I kind of want to go for. I mean, it's wrong. It's actually not that strong now. I actually know it's still strong. It's still good. Uh, I think spacing for two points here is the right play, though. Good. Okay, I'll take those three points. take away some points in Africa maybe I could switch that back at some point I don't know how but maybe yeah, there's our space race so I could I think I need to hold on to salt till next round give myself the best chance so they have they have Nixon, Cultural, Five Year Plan. What are the odds they play? They, they can't afford to play Five Year Plan, right? As long as I'm holding South America scoring. They can't afford to play it. So go and use that for Ops. could play UN Intervention on Armin and Tehran. That feels pretty good. Doing a coup is also good. That could be worth a point for me. I could make a play for Europe, but I'd have to survive to the end game. Make a play for Europe, I would need 
slot negotiations and Willie Brandt to be in effect, which Willie Brandt is not in effect. And nothing, I can't, I'm pretty sure I can't uh, ever realign Italy now. But if I take West Germany, I could potentially go for an op war in Italy. But if I play UN Intervention on Armand and Tehran, I can't, I don't have that option. If they five year plan me, I also don't have that option. But I kind of want them to if I'm holding on to South America. But I don't think they can risk it at all. Um, so we have. Who's in the discard? Getting, I can't prevent them from scoring Middle East domination, but that's four points, which is not good. But all right, I think I'm gonna put two influence into into West Germany. I don't know what to do with my influence right now. <laughs> So, I'd like to have the option to for Europe dom or Europe control if I can. I'll just need to survive long enough <laughs> somehow and find a way to get Italy. Like I need socialist governments to work in my favor. Okay, so they're protecting against socialist governments. So I need to play the China card now. Let's say I'm 100% going to play Nixon if I don't play this right now. I could put the influence in Thailand. That'd only be two. And that wouldn't give me domination, so I think that play is out of question. I could put two influence into Brazil. Or sorry, three influence into Brazil. Um, that makes Nixon not be able to repair this, which would give me, which would make them play five year plan, which I don't want them to do, to be honest. I want them to play that for the. I, just, I guess there's just no way they'll do that though. I could put three into Saudi Arabia, or I could just put it on to West Germany. The problem is, if I go for West Germany, then they just have to put more influence into Italy. And there, there's just like no way that I'll ever get Europe control. Our goal is not the victory of might. But the vindication of rights. Man, I really don't know what to do here. I could coup Peru. But both peace and freedom here in this hemisphere. And we hope around the world. God willing. I need to roll a four, or five, or six, though. And then be successful on a realignment roll. That could deny three, four points potentially. It seems pretty unlikely to work though. So I could put three into Saudi Arabia. I don't like that play. I don't think putting in plus Middle East is what I need to do right now. Gosh, this is a really tough sports position. It's interesting, but it's hard. And I don't want to lose this game if I can help it. 
Um, but I have to play China card here. There's no question. Queen Peru would give me enough military ops, which is nice. And then I could maybe play Salt as my last play. And then if they don't coup, I might get military op points off them. Yeah, that actually might work. Cause... Well, then they would probably coup with five year plan, so. I'm, no, I'm just gonna coup Peru. I don't know what the right play is here. Well, that. <laughs> if I knew I was gonna roll a six, that would have made it easier. Oh man, <laughs> that was pretty ex awesome for us, actually. Sorry that took so long. That was that was a pretty hard decision to make. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. I played felt like it took ten minutes. I don't know how long it took, but it was a while. A point. So I can play you intervention for a point. <laughs> Which I think I'm gonna do. Might headline saw it <laughs> just to get realignment rolls. If the discard pile doesn't correct itself on the next round, I'm gonna have to restart the game so that way the discard pile will show up. I could easily track it this round, but I don't want to mess up next round if I can help it. I guess they could do that too. <laughs> oh well. I guess I should have put. I should have played Salt. But I really feel like Salt is a card I need to hold on to. Salt could change the uh, Europe into my favor. If I'm very, very lucky. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. This, this is rough, to say the least. I need to coup in Africa break their domination there. If I could get Africa to my favor and break South America domination, then there's there's a chance. That's a bad start to that plan. And surely but... one such lesson learned by the world at great cost is that aggression okay, so they could have war unopposed games unopposed becomes a contagious disease. Discard alright I need to restart my game real quick. Sorry. There's a glitch in the game where the the um, discard pile doesn't show up. Just give me one second. 
need to I don't need to show in my login information. Go there. Okay, should be fixed now. But surely one such lesson learned by the world. Alright, so what's our hand? We had Iran and Iraq. Just doesn't help us. Becomes a contagious disease. I could play ABM. I could also Missile Envy. Missile Envy could get war games out of their hand if they have it. I think Missile Envy is our best card potentially. It's either that or Salt. Salt Negotiations gets ABM or Muslim Revolution. ABM's Pretty good, but I don't think it's it's what I need to do to win the game. Like if if I had socialist governments, there might be a play, might be a play, but I don't think I can do that. I could Iran Iraq War into Iran. I guess that's a 50-50 shot of working. If that works, then War Games doesn't kill me. This gives me a point. Oh, two points. So I would actually win over War Games. And that puts us at a tie for Middle East scoring. It gives me Military House for Arms Race. But I could also Coup. If that doesn't succeed, then I would lose to War Games. Or I would have to play Arms Race. Or I could risk it and play Missile Envy. Yeah, I think I'd play Missile Envy. So I think Iron Eric Wars that were best headline here. <sighs> Man, that just doesn't feel great though. Oh. Oh, there's goes off first. Oh my gosh, that could have been so good for me. Mine would have went off first. Please fail. I need them to fail. If they get Asia Domination, there's like no chance. Alright, this is bad. This is this is bad. Things went downhill very fast there. Okay. Um Wow, they I can't believe they headlined that card. That is ridiculous. That was the perfect card from the headline. So that was a good play. Oh gosh. Well, Missile Envy would keep me alive for another turn if they have war games. So I can either play Salt, I can't play Salt, I have to go for, I think I have to go for Europe Control to win, and it just ignore Defcon, so, or uh, ignore War Games, or I could maybe go for a War Games win, I don't see how though. I don't have Europe scoring. Okay, I could get three points off arms race. Three points on the space race track. And that's still not even close. I could 
I could salt arms race back. I could go for Middle East. Like Ku. Uh, none of those. I, I could Ku Egypt, I guess. So I could Ku Egypt. And then take Saudi Arabia. I don't have enough ops for this. This doesn't work. Is here. There's so many things to think about. I can't think of the right one. That's interesting. Okay, they're going to put in Italy. This is kind of weird now. I think I have to assume they don't have war games and go for Europe. Now I have to assume they don't have war games. There's definitely ways to make this maybe work. I don't, it's not very likely though. Yeah, if they have war games, it's over anyway, so I, I could saw it here. But I think I need to hold on to saw it. Plus, of having the chance to coup Italy could be very good for us. So I'm going to risk it, I think. The problem is if I play this card, that makes Africa game ending, so I guess I need to play this. I guess Africa's game ending costs millies regardless, so... The 
like space this card. And you do need a space, I think. So. It's not bad for me though, like, gives me Argentina. Gives me Argentina. I could put influence in Italy. You know what? I'm playing this. I have to play salt though, <laughs> so this doesn't even work. I'm just desperate to make something happen when I don't think I can. But I'll play salt for the event, get back ABM, which will make Defcon go to five. Or... Yeah, that'll make Defcon go to five, so I have a very small chance to make it happen. So many things can get my way, like they can't draw any scoring cards until turn 10. There's only... Wait, are they all gone? One, two... No, there's Africa. They can't draw Africa scoring. So I think I have to take... ABM here. Um... So that puts Italy up to three, or yeah, up to three, so there's two in there. I don't think less, I need to look up the exact wording on this card. Uh, improve DEFCON. So okay, so I have an option here, here. I could, I could take the reformer which I don't think will work <laughs> or I take ABM I think ABM is our best chance because then I go if I roll a six that puts I have to roll six so that's not very good either if I get the reformer I could Maybe get something to work. Yeah, if I play the Reformer, I could win with Glass Knot. Um. If they put one influence in Italy, well, they won't put influence into Italy actually, because if they do, then I'll get two coups. Oh, wait, I'm losing the military ops this way. I can't actually do this, can I? Damn it.
That sucks. <laughs> Why did it have to be Kitchen Debates? So good. So good. Putting you gay for a special relationship, I suppose. I should probably put it in Goa. I don't think it really matters though, but I'll do that. Yep, there we go. And I'm out of the tournament. Great. <laughs> but I lost to two good opponents, so it's fine. Damn, that was a struggle for sure.